OK, so today we're going to look at how you can plug your laptop into your TV screen or monitor. And we're going to show you how you can mess around with the configuration so that you can have something different coming up on your monitor from your laptop or vice versa. So as I say, today we're going to show you how you can connect your laptop to your monitor. Now, first of all, for most modern monitors, you need to ensure that you have got an HDMI cable. That's one of these type cables here. And you must ensure that your TV or your monitor has an HDMI input. Likewise, so does your computer. So let's just check. So usually the input is on the side of the laptop, first of all. So let's just get our laptop and I can see there that is the HDMI input, slightly different from the USB input. The USB input is rectangular and this is a rectangle, but a couple of the sides are slightly angled there. We need to plug one end of the HDMI cable into there. Then the next thing we need to do is to turn our screen around and have a look on the back of it. Now, as I can see, I have got an HDMI socket matching the one on my laptop just there. So I get the other end of the HDMI cable that I haven't plugged into the laptop and plug it in there like so. Now it only goes in one way. As I said earlier, there is a slight angle on the socket as there is on the actual plug itself. So make sure that matches, push it in and make sure you push it in nice and firmly. And then I'm just going to turn the monitor round and then I'm going to switch the laptop back on. So as you can see, my screen is duplicated from the laptop onto here. Let's just uh, double check that. So if I open up Google, say, for instance, yep, yeah, it's duplicated on both screens. But what if you wanted something different on this screen? say for instance, then what we do is just go back to the desktop and then right click anywhere on a blank area of the desktop. And then you should get this little menu come up on the screen. Go down to display settings, which is normally the second menu option from the bottom of the menu that's appeared. Left click once on it. And then here you should get the system display. And one option you've got here in uh, on the right hand side, next to identify is duplicate these displays. Now, if I click on that there, we've got a couple of options here. We've got extend these displays. So if we click extend these displays, they both go off, they come back on again, and we've got an option here to keep the changes. So let's just click keep changes. That's on the bigger screen. And now, as we can see here, when I move my mouse, it's independent here. There's my mouse on the uh, on the little laptop there. If I move it over to the right, it then appears on the screen over here, meaning I can have something completely different like I've got at the moment on the main screen from my laptop screen. This is handy if I'm, say, for instance, doing a presentation or perhaps working on two things at the same time. So if I open up Google, say, there you go, it's gone to the laptop. But if I move my mouse to the little bar just along the top there, any blank area up there, hold down the left mouse button and just drag that window over to the right. As you can see, I've now got an outline of that window. If I let it go, there you go. I've now got my Google on a separate screen, which then leaves me free to do other things on this screen. Like say, for instance, I could open up Word on this screen or Excel or my emails. So I can work on two different things independently, as you can see here. Now in those display settings, I'm just gonna go back to them. So I'm just gonna close down what's on the screen here and then right click, go into display settings. And here I can change the location of 
my screens. This is screen number one. It's to the left of screen number two, but it's actually showing it's at the top. So it's actually sort of saying that the screen is up here, just up, up there. But really, we want that screen to be down the bottom a bit. So all we do is just move my mouse over the screen, hold down the left mouse button and just drag it down to roughly where the screen actually is, what angle it is. And as you can see there, that kind of now replicates the setup of my screen. Meaning if I click on apply and then my mouse, hopefully if I move it up to the, say the, the, the right hand corner of the screen there, it should, when I move it over, it should then appear, there we go, on the screen here. Now, if I found I had my laptop the other side of this monitor, what I could do is I can just move my mouse over screen number one, which is my laptop, and just move it over to the right. And that means again, that the mouse flows much, much better, much more natural between the screens. You've got to remember to click on apply after you've set it so that uh, it uh, actually applies those changes. If you're not sure what screen number one and number two is, you can click on the identify button and that will put a number one here and, oh, sorry, I'll just do that again. And there, there's a number two on uh, my other screen. So other options are here, show only on one. So if I select that, it means that it will only show on screen number one, which is this screen here. If I click on that again and go show only on two, it means that my laptop screen will be blank, but whatever I'm doing appears on this screen here, the big screen, screen number two. And uh, that just, just means I've got, I'm working with one screen once again. But I think the best way to do this is extend the displays. And then that means that you can work twice as efficient as what you have done in the past. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, consider hitting that thanks button and making a donation to this channel. Or if you can't do that, then have a look in the description down below. We've got some great links down there for you to various things, including my Amazon shop, which contains all the things I love at the moment on Amazon, Fire TV sticks, Fire TV cubes, and VPNs. Buying, subscribing, and donating really does help support this channel. It helps me to be able to dedicate more time to spend researching to bring you these great videos. And whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos for you right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. And if you do see any videos that you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like to see, then please don't forget to share these videos on your social media timelines. You can check me out on X. I'm at CWTEK. You can also check out my website. It's CWTEK.co.uk. Thanks for watching and speak to you again soon.